My name's Heather Kaiser. Um, I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm here as a senior at Lehigh and I'm majoring in accounting. Um, I'm involved in a decent amount of stuff on campus. I'm pretty involved in the admissions office. I work uh, as a tour guide as well as an admissions fellow. So I interview prospective Lehigh students um, who are seniors in high school who are interested in coming to Lehigh. Um, a couple of the other things I'm involved with are I sing in two of our choirs here. I sing in the university choir and Dolce, which is our women's choir. And I I also sing in an acapella group, the Melismatics, which is the oldest acapella group on campus. I'm also involved in Greek life as well as the accounting club. So that's a little bit about me. Um, to kind of get started now, we are here today to talk about um, some of the residence halls that we have on campus. Here we are in Lower Centennials. This is one of the many options that you could um, live in as a first year if you came to Lehigh. So we're going to get to take a swing through, see a um, dorm room, see a little bit um, of the lounges and the kitchen area so come on in So all um, Lehigh students that live um, in this dorm are gonna have access to it through their Lehigh ID. Um, if you have a friend who lives in another dorm and you wanna go see them, um, your Lehigh ID won't scan into that building. Um, you'll have to have your friend come down. But um, it's a little bit about safety here for, um, for some of those dorms. So here we are now. Um, this is one of the lounge areas. We're in Stevens, which is a part of the Lower Centennials. Um, so every um, Lehigh dorm is going to have some form of lounge um, either on like the basement floor or sometimes they have lounges um, on every floor. So my freshman dorm there was a lounge um, on the first, second, and third floor which was awesome. Um, we had a pool table in mine. Um, this here, one here seems to have a ping pong table, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then every dorm is also going to have some form of kitchen. So here we have the kitchen. It's going to have a stove, um, a refrigerator, sink, um, microwave. So that is really convenient. Um, but there are also options where you can purchase a Lehigh microwave and a Lehigh um, mini fridge for your room. Um, a lot of students do utilize that. Um, it's definitely convenient. That's what me and my roommate did so we had one just right in our room it was nice to kind of keep you know snack foods and stuff um, I definitely made a lot of microwave mac and cheese when I was a first year as well so that was definitely um, a really awesome thing to have um, and as you can see here we have um, couches and chairs um, there's also a TV in every lounge so lots of people you know will do movie nights um, whatever and March Madness is happening right now so a lot of students come down here watch the games together it's a lot of fun um, but now I'm gonna show you um, one of the dorm rooms that you could live in so here at Lehigh you're most likely going to live in a double um, there are a few triples here but for the most part you'll probably just live with one other roommate so as you can see here every room is going to come with two beds two desks chairs um, lots of storage space we have um, closets in here so you can you know hang up your clothes fold your clothes um, this, this ironing board as well so definitely a lot of space in here um, you can decorate the walls um, with whatever you like whether that's you know you're a Cubs fan or you want to put pictures of yourself and your friends kind of on um, on the walls and such but yeah this is definitely what a standard double is gonna look like here at Lehigh um, it's pretty spacious I I know some people will also bunk their beds, you know, to have a little bit more room in here as well. I've seen kids bring in kind of um, beanbag chairs as well for their rooms, which is a lot of fun. My friends had that my first year as well. So um, a little bit more kind of about the rooms in general and some things like that you'll be living with. So um, on your housing application, you have the option to choose your roommate or um, you can go random as well. So it just depends on what you're feeling. My roommate and I met together um, on the Lehigh Facebook page for admitted students. We talked a lot. Um, we thought we were gonna be a really good match. So on the housing application, we selected each other and got to room together our first year. And we're actually living together now senior year, which has been really nice. It's like a nice full circle. Um, but I also had friends who went random. And so on that housing application, you fill out a survey that basically just asks you kind of about your housing habits your living style uh, you know what time do you go to bed you know are you messy are you clean um, just kind of some things that will help Lehigh match you with um, a perfect roommate so there's really no bad way to do it pick a roommate or go random great stories from both sides so in terms of how the dorms are laid out you could live on um, their three different types of halls that you could live on. You could live on a co-ed hall you could live on an all-gender hall or you could live on um, 
and all single floor. So I was on a um, all female floor my first year, um, which was great. Um, there are two bathrooms for um, us on there. And then um, across the way, it was the male side of the floor. So all the um, men lived on that side. Um, but you could also live on a co-ed floor. Um, so that would be, you know, if I lived in this room and then right next door, there were two guys who lived next to us. And so on that hall, you're gonna have one bathroom for female, one bathroom for all male. And then we have an all gender option as well for um, um, the non-binary um, people who just want to choose to kind of live with those people as well. So we do have that option um, as well. It's going to be same thing, two bathrooms on those floors. Um, so those are all really great options and something that you do um, do on your housing application. So it's a little bit kind of about how the things are going to be laid out. Um, but some other fun things that we do here at Lehigh is we have Griffins, which are our RAs. So the Griffins will often put together fun events for the um, students in their hall or the students on the floor. Um, I was in one of our themed housing units. So we do have themed housing here at Lehigh. Those are an optional thing, but we've got an outdoor adventure. We have the STEM, we have choice, first generation housing, music appreciation, and several more. So we have a lot of those options if you are interested in doing some of that themed housing. Um, my roommate and I really wanted to be involved in that because we wanted to live around people who also really liked being outdoors and it was super helpful to kind of help us meet some people with those same um, interests as us. So our Griffins put together a lot of outdoor activities for us. We did many sunrise and sunset hikes. We also went rock climbing, we did swimming. So lots of kind of fun stuff as well. Um, and then when we would do kind of massive dorm events, um, I remember one of my favorites was we made, um, or our Griffins made a Jeopardy for us. So we got to play Jeopardy. We would order pizza, do a lot of fun stuff like that. So there's definitely the Griffins are there, you know, as a resource for you and a nice upperclassman face, you know, especially as a first year, if you're nervous coming into Lehigh, you don't know a lot of people. It's nice to just have an upperclassman friend. Um, and that's definitely what your Griffin is here for. So, um, Another couple of questions that we have, um, a lot of people ask about cars on campus. So um, as a first year, you cannot have a car on campus, but um, I have been here at Lehigh for the last four years. Like I mentioned, I'm from Seattle, so I've never had a car on campus, but Lehigh has many options, you know, in terms of getting around Bethlehem. Um, we have, you know, obviously there's Ubers. We also have a Lehigh bus that runs to and from the Lehigh Valley Mall every weekend, which is nice. So if you wanna do a quick getaway to the mall, you can hop on that bus. Um, and then we also have an enterprise car share option. So Lehigh partners with Enterprise, um, and there are a lot of enterprise car share cars parked all across campus. Um, all you have to do to rent those cars is download the app, upload your valid driver's license, and you can rent that car for as short as an hour or as long as five days. So I've taken that car before and driven up to New York to visit some of my friends, and I've taken the car to drive, you know, 20 minutes down to Chipotle and get dinner. So definitely um, a really nice option and not really something I've ever felt like I needed. Like I never felt like I needed a car. There were always, you know, my friends who could drive me or any of those options. So another question is about how um, if housing is guaranteed for all four years. So at Lehigh, you're required to live on campus for at least your freshman and sophomore year. So as a first year, you'll live in a dorm that looks like this. And as a sophomore, you'll live in more of a suite style apartment. Um, we just got some new buildings renovated and built. So those are really nice um, couple bedrooms, two bathrooms. So you definitely will have to be on campus for your first two years. And then juniors and seniors will typically move off campus. We have a lot of off campus housing um, right off of campus. There's many houses that house about six people, a um, bunch of bedrooms and bathrooms in those. And then I live in Southside Commons, which is a new um, off campus apartment style. So I have it's a four bedroom and two baths. So I live with three of my other girlfriends. And it's really great. Um, super nice place. You know, laundry is built in. Um, laundry we also have in um, all the first year residence halls and soft um, and sophomore residence halls as well. So don't have to worry about laundry for that, which is good. Um, and then other people are curious too, is if the first year dorms are mixed with um, any of the upperclassmen. Um, the only time that that would happen is if your Griffin, your Griffin will be a sophomore, junior or senior. So you won't be living on a hall with like other juniors or seniors or anyone. They're all gonna be first years in these first year dorms. Um, so that's been really nice. You know, it's definitely a good way to kind of meet some friends um, who are your year. I know I've had so many freshman year friends who I still, you know, keep in contact to the, like to this day, you know, we're all, a lot of us working in New York next year. So kind of keeping in touch through that, um, which has been, which has been really nice. 
Um, and then some people are also curious about how dorms work for trans and non-binary individuals and if they can request single rooms. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, you can we do have something called all gender housing um, and those who identify as transgender or non-binary um, and wish to have a different roommate um, of a different gender do have the option to do so. So Lehigh does um, have options um, for those people, which is really awesome. Um, we've had that now for a while. so. Definitely, definitely do not have to worry about that. Um, and then depending on how many people will live in the hall, it honestly is just going to depend on the building that you live in. Um, you know, we're here in Lower Sens right now. There's about 15 to 20 people per hall. But then I lived in M&M and it's going to be about, um, you know, 30 to 40 people per hall. So it really just depends um, kind of on where you live and um, what dorm you live in. So, um, yeah, that is kind of some of our frequently asked questions. Um, if there's any other questions in the comments, I'm happy to answer those. But if not, um, show us that. Yeah, um, we can head back out now. So, um, yeah, so I'm happy just to head back outside. So you guys definitely got a nice viewing of um, kind of the lounge area, the dorms. Here we have a nice little study space. Lots of students will kind of come in here, um, utilize the desks. There's a whiteboard as well, so students will, um, you know, utilize that if they don't want to go all the way to the library. And then just out here in Lower Sense as well, it's really nice. Um, this is kind of a closed area. Um, there's a nice gazebo here. So in the nicer um, months of the year, lots of students will come hang out here. There's also um, a volleyball court. So students will play volleyball, which is a lot of fun. And then I've also seen students um, hang hammocks between the trees um, and just kind of hang out here uh, in the spring. So. Oh yeah, so um, someone's asking again about how if campus is, or excuse me, if housing is guaranteed on campus for all four years. So it's guaranteed for your first year and your second year. So freshmen and sophomores live on campus, they have to. And then juniors and seniors will typically move off campus um, to either some of the houses right off campus or to any apartment style um, living that we have. So. Yeah, um, I think that kind of wraps up everything that we have um, about Res Life. Um, if there are any further questions, don't hesitate to kind of comment on our Instagram, um, contact admissions, uh, anyone will be happy to reach out and talk to you. But I want to thank you all so much for tuning in live today, um, and we will see you next time.